What's going on world? It's your boy Big Chips here and today I'm actually going to teach you something. All right. We're going to go over how to use these sexy little things and do it on the PC. So stick with me. We'll be right back. Yes, family, we are here. We are going to learn something today. We're going to learn today. But we're actually going to go over how to use the bamboo tablets that some of us have won and a, more, a majority of people have. And I've got a few uh, messages, and I have not responded to everybody, but I'm going to today because I'm going to shoot you a video and show you how to use these tablets because they are super cool, and it's not as good as a Mac. Okay, when you use these things on a PC, you don't get the cool highlighter app or none of that stuff, so that part sucks. But there are some tools that you can use, there is a plug in that you can use to write on your browser. So, we're going to go over that and I'm going to teach you how. So, let me let me see if my Steve magic works here. I'm going to try to jump in the screen. Okay, let's get to the screen. All right, family, here we go with the value that we're talking about here. This link here is the actual plugin that I use to actually draw on the screen. So if you're using the bamboo and you want to learn how to draw on your browser, this is the tool that you're going to need that actually allows you to do so. And again, it's uh, you can just go to Firefox and it, I haven't seen it in Google. I mean, not that I really looked, but I did search a little bit. Firefox is the only one that I've seen that actually has the uh, the app right now. If you're on a uh, on a Mac, you can use the uh, highlight, and that is actually in the iTunes App Store. So y'all are lucky, you know y'all are y'all y'all got the pimp tool. But if you're using a PC, it sucks, you know, doesn't it? because we want to write on the screen too and the problem of this is we can't write on the screen like the Macs do because they have this kicking product this app but we have nothing you know so hang tight and I'm gonna show you how to I mean with this simple plug-in you know how you can also write on the screen now there are lots of options here of what I use, how I use, uh, pressure, how much pressure you add, dictates how big the lines are. So you can see that, and all I'm doing is I'm pressing down harder or I'm going soft. So, you know, using this, I'll show you that real fast. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all that junk, junk, junk. Again, using a PC sucks, you yeah. know. Just gonna throw that out there and let you let you chew on that a little bit. But here is the dealio. When using a screen capture software, I use Camtasia. So with Camtasia, they give you the uh, screen draw that comes a part of recording a webinar, so like or a, t a tutorial, like I'm doing now. So you just click on that. And you can you you can draw a square. You can highlight like here's the highlighter. Uh, you can do a square around something if you see something. Oh, that's neat. Oh yeah, I like that. You can do a circle. You know whatever. But here I use the pen, and it's lagging a little bit. But that's just because my computer sucks. So if you have a sucky computer, you know it's gonna lag on you if you try to do a screen recording. But most people don't. This laptop's just old, and you know, when I lost everything in the flooding or the storms and everything, it just helps me to be able to continue to work without having to drop another two grand on a computer. Anywho, so you got options that you can do. You can change the color. They don't give you a wide variety of colors, but they give you enough to choose from. Uh, you can choose your width. Now on this one, I tend to stay about a two. You know. Because you can see once you go higher, it looks like crap. So you can either, uh, you can actually go to the TechSmith site 
and they give you uh, shortcuts that you can use to help you on uh, using the software so you can either hit ex let me show you again so you can either hit the escape button on your computer or just hit screen draw and then in that so we'll hide that real fast and your bamboo you've got the paper you've got the doodler these should be both on your actual system and there's a tutorial that you can take to learn how to use the bamboo I recommend that you do that because it's pretty informative uh, but again let me sh let me show you the word doc here because that's what we're using right so when you open a word document you see that it's just just a normal word document I'm using the actual uh, touchpad on my laptop right now but the second I introduce my pen to the mix did you see this box pop up I'll, that's your ink tool so all you gotta do is hit pens you can grab the highlighter and highlight things you know these are pretty cool uh, you can change your thickness on that as well or I mean and you can see the different markers they give you the built-in pens or you can actually change the colors so uh, like if, I, if I'm selecting a pen of course I can actually change the color to whatever I want yeah so if I want to be a happy boy I can be happy yeah if I want to be sad I can be sad tears running down I don't have a Mac that with the highlighter boo hoo hoo now the only thing that sucks about doing uh, word doc guys is you can't erase anything unless you sit here and hit control Z a million times uh, you can hit right here and usually I have this on a much bigger monitor so I can actually open this without people seeing it but whatever and then just erase it back to normal All right. so again the add-on is right here all you gotta do is go to Firefox go to the uh, add-on section and go for screen draw alright and it's this works for bamboo or any actual drawing situation now I do actually have it open already so let me close that so when you come here basically what you would do is you would hit add to Firefox since I already got it installed it's gonna tell you that you need to restart your browser which is fine just do that and then when it restarts it's actually on there you'll look down here in this lower corner and you will see that I have the pencil icon that pencil icon shows you that you can draw now on your screen now this is a size 13 I don't recommend that by no means the only thing that you gotta watch out for here guys is you can lose track of where this little dot is so the little dot I got here <laughs> you lose track of it so you gotta pay attention to what you're doing but you can draw under the text over the text draw on any page color size and then you can actually save it all so you can actually come down here and do some kind of doodle you know whatever it is and usually it doesn't drag like this guys I'm not really sure why it's dragging I guess just maybe because I got a sucky computer but that's alright but you can actually hold down on that I mean use your uh, right click on your uh, pen you can view the image you can save image as you know whatever you want to do so these are just recommendations of what you can do and just ways to be able to to write X things out talk about something you know whatever the case may be that you want to use this to draw on your computer screen right so again it's going to be down here that's all you do if you want to clear it out hit that so I mean you can change color if I don't hit the right button you can do blue this olive weird, olive weird color I don't want to use that let's use green green so I mean they've got all the colors here so whatever you want to do pick your flavor go forth and be merry but it's a free add-on you know it allows you to draw on your screen 
to use your browser if you're on something if you're trying to give good tips on something you know to help you to get that accomplished but it allows you to use your tablet for what you're doing so you know again if you want to write on the screen yes I do too this is how you do it these are the tools that I use and that you can use and it's just a simple plug-in you know just it's very simple there's nothing technical about it you just gotta use it so uh, again that is your bamboo tablet that is us drawing on a screen that's hanging up a little bit so I do apologize for that but I'm not gonna redo this because you get the gist of it I hope I hope you understand all this and that it does you know make sense a little bit because I don't I don't want it to be complicated because it's not I want you to be able to uh, there's some of Mark's drawings there that's supposed to be a light bulb <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is anyway that's it that's all I got for you today so I hope you got some value out of that I hope you can use these plugins and tools a little bit better than I can because right now this laptop sucks so uh, I guess maybe I can kick some people off Wi-Fi but the kids are doing their schoolwork so it's kinda hard but uh, yeah man that's it so I guess let's make myself bigger and we'll go from there so we got frustrated we got mad things didn't work the way we wanted them to work the screen dragged on us but that's alright we still made the thing happen you know you can use these tools that I showed you uh, you can still use these same tools it's just for some reason this freaking crappy laptop that I'm using is just a waste of freaking space because it drug out on me but these tools usually work and usually work pretty good so I'm gonna look into that on what's running that's making this drag like that and try to upload this video for you so you can learn how to draw on your screen using a PC and these wicked cool bamboo tablets. Alright? One love fam. Make it a great day. I dare ya.